Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of June 28th through July 4th. So, uh, last week I talked about changing things up and I have been a lot lately. Um, been listing a whole bunch of different things. I've listed about, I don't know, 50, 60 different Funko Pops. A um, whole bunch of things and a lot of things will be in what's sold video right now. Um, I have t-shirts that I that I have to go through if you watched my GameStop haul I have a huge lot of t-shirts I probably have close to a thousand different t-shirts and I'm gonna start listing um, I actually have a board game haul that uh, Greg sent over I bought a big old case of board games from him I I'm not sure what what they are well I'll do a unboxing of that soon Anyways, I'm changing things up, and it, it seemed to be paying off. Let's go into uh, what's sold, and I will show you. As always, we will do the collectibles and everything uh, different first, and then we'll do the plush at the end. Anyways, uh, here's the report for 28th through July 4th. I did $1,645.77, which was 21 point one percent up from last week so I'm going in the right direction I'm still not hitting my goal of 2,000 a week um, that goal I haven't hit it in what three weeks now so summer's been taking this toll and it was a lot of laziness for me June it was terrible for me I just I did not uh, list a lot it was just hot and I didn't list a lot <laughs> it was my fault uh, net sales is one thousand two hundred twelve dollars and twenty two cents this week so not bad it's getting close to my 2000 goal uh, with Mercari and Posh and Bonanza I know I for sure hit the 2000 goal but I am not counting that <laughs> uh, the sales last 31 days I am 29.8 percent down so that is not good uh, compared to the same period a year ago I am 36.7 percent down so it's going in the wrong direction but hey I'm getting my active listings up I am 35 43 um, I was down to like 3200 at one time so I'm getting my listings back up like I said I was super lazy in June <laughs> all right let's start off with what's old uh, this emoji game I got this out Kohl's this was a super sale I, I think I paid like 90 cents for them. I mean, they're not selling for much. They're selling for $11.04 each. Um, I picked up like five different of uh, different games, like card games, and they were doing pretty well in the pandemic. They've slowed down since then, but uh, I think three of them completely sold out. So I have Emoji Game and some other game left over. Um, they're not selling for much, like I said, uh, $11.04, but hey, it's something. <laughs> Uh, Journey, this is a metal uh, metal sign. I picked this up uh, at, uh, I believe it's Bed Bath & Beyond. No, Hobby Lobby. It was Hobby Lobby that did like a 90% off sale. And I picked up a ton of these signs. Approximately, I think it was two and a half years ago. Um, this was the, one of the last signs I have left. You can see it has some like damage on it. and I don't know if it's meant to be. I think it's just meant to look like damage because it wasn't really damaged. It was still in the plastic. But anyways, it sold for $19.54. Uh, Hirschner's. I just picked up a bunch of these. I believe I showed them on my bins haul. I picked up a bunch of different uh, patterns. I'm not sure if I showed them or not. But uh, picked up a big handful of different uh, baby... Or Afghan like crochet patterns and a whole bunch of things like that. I do love uh, crochet pattern if you can get your hands on uh, cross stitch and crochet patterns. Uh, make sure you look them up. I mean I only paid uh, what, a few cents because they weighed nothing and um, sold for $12.74. Um, Moana the fish hook from Maui. Uh, just picked this up at the bins hall. Uh, that was last week. Uh, the guy messaged me and said does it light up and I'm like uh, no so I hope he's not going to return it because it's right there this version does not light up uh, gently used in great shape but so hopefully he's not going to return it we'll find out <laughs> it sold for $13.59 uh, diamond uh, green lantern diorama I picked these up at GameStop I believe they were three bucks a piece 
Um, it's been a while since I picked them up because there was a lot of people that selling them for nothing. They were selling them for like fifteen dollars, and I mean it's ridiculous. I mean it's ten dollars just to ship this thing, so you're not making anything. So I had to wait out, wait out all the people that were selling them for nothing. Um, finally selling, started selling for a decent price. I'm um, getting thirty-eight twenty-four each, and five have sold so far. I did raise my uh, discount to fifteen percent just to see what would happen. So hopefully this week I'll get some more sales. I just raised the percentage up five more percent just to wake up my store some. Uh, five five uh, surprise toy mini brands ball capsules. I just got these at Walmart at a super sale. I believe they were three bucks a piece if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, they are selling for $25.49. I picked up a bunch. I picked up 12 of these, and there's a different kind. It's a white one that I picked up 12 of them. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of these in the future because I already sold one, and I just listed like last week. Uh, Lego backpacks. I have a bunch of book bags and backpacks and stuff that I'm listing right now. Like I said, I'm trying to switch things up, just doing a little diversity. Uh, I have to finish listing all the plush that I have loose and then I'm going to keep going strong with the t-shirts and all that that I have. But uh, right now, um, doing okay. <laughs> uh, this is R2-D2. I do have the child one too that I just listed. So hopefully those will start selling. I mean, the, the child Grogu is so popular right now. So hopefully those will start flying off the shelf. Uh, these are selling for $21.24 each. And I have two more. Here, talking about Yoda, Baby Yoda. This is a mini backpack from The Force Awakens. I uh, got this from my nephew. I don't remember what I paid for it. Sorry. <laughs> but it's a Pop Lounge Fly. Um, you can see right there. Really great. Um, condition and great quality that's what I was trying to say more great quality a backpack if you can find lounge fly make sure you look them up even if they're just generic ones they are a great quality backpack or purse or whatever you can find lounge fly sells um, and they usually go for good money this one sold for 76.49 and two have sold so far uh, Tokatu this is a cyberpunk uh, female V just a little action figure. Uh, got that at the GameStop clearance for 95% off. Paid almost nothing for her. And they're selling for $16.99. So you can see a lot of different items are selling. Not just plush this week. Uh, this is a blanket. I think I got this one off the Disney store. I don't think this one was uh, Kohl's if I remember correctly. I mean it could be Kohl's. Uh, actually it's upside down. <laughs> Second picture was upside down. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to go back to show my shame. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I believe I got this off the Disney store. And if I did, it was a clearance out of um, a clearance and then a clearance off the clearance. I only buy stuff there when it's like 50% uh, off. And then they do like a extra 60% off of clearance. So it's really inexpensive. And I then I just buy them out of all their items. Um, like I said, not sure if it was Kohl's or Disney Store, but I believe it was Disney Store. Um, it sold for $14.44. I'm just trying to get rid of them now because I've had them since a long time. You can see nasty little tile on the floor and didn't even put a blanket under it. So it's been there in my store for a while and I just got picked up a whole bunch of uh, different like blankets and towels to sell. So clearing these guys out for really inexpensively. <laughs> Uh, this book is a planetarium. Uh, got this at uh, my GameStop clearance again, 95% off, so paid nothing. It's just a little book that you make a whole bunch of paper things out of. You can see uh, six functional paper or pop up paper contraptions. Whatever. <laughs> but hey, it sold for good money. It sold for $21, and both of them sold, so they are gone. Uh, this saddlebag, this is a crossbody uh, purse. I just put in handbag. I don't know what to put in. <laughs> Got these off of uh, the Disney store a couple of years ago. You can see the the brown like uh, measuring thing, measuring stick behind it. So it's been a little while. Um, 
picked these up at the Disney store, I believe for like two bucks. They were super inexpensive. And they are selling for eighteen sixty nine each. And four have sold so far. Uh, Peeps Sugar Scented Stickers. Finally got rid of these. Um, someone came in and wanted to buy the last uh, four. So they wanted eight. And they made me a deal. I forgot exactly what they paid. But it was it was around $40. I just wanted to get rid of them now. I was like, go ahead. Um, these were $0.10 cents each at Rite, Rite Aid or Walgreens. One of those. It was a, one of the Easter sales. And I was getting fourteen thirty nine each, and they're finally gone. I, I don't know how many I had. I had like two shelves worth. So, I sold a ton of these guys. <laughs> they were, uh, they were clogging up my whole uh, front room. So I'm glad they are out. So now I can actually put some pops and different things in the, <laughs> in those shelves. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is actually going out of the country. Someone paid forty five dollars to get this guy shipped. You can see, like I said, a lot of different things selling. Uh, Plush is still selling, uh, don't get me wrong, but um, adding a lot more different items is really boosting my store right now. So they paid $45. Uh, it cost me $10.49 to ship, so I made a little under $30. Bucks, so super happy, or a little bit more than $30. Bucks. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Nickelodeon, Nella, the princess night this one is actually going out of the country too this one this person's paying paid over 45 dollars to ship this out of the country also um again i only paid 10.49 to ship it this is a costume i got from my nephew for free he wanted to get them out of his hair and i'm like all right i'll take your costumes i it's a whole closet full so uh, a lot of stuff to sell but hey i'm happy i got it uh over $30 for free. So super happy with that. Uh, My Hero Academia slash uh, Hello Kitty Cap. I don't know what's going on, but anime is like crossing platforms. I mean, My Hero and Hello Kitty. And I know my uh, Hello Kitty has done it with uh, a few other anime things. So I don't know why but hey people like it I got $16 out of it and I guess I should be happy I just think it's kind of dumb but whatever that's me <laughs> uh, Disney Toy Story Buzz Lightyear and Emperor Emperor Zerg I still have three more of these I forgot to relist them um, but these are great I uh, got these off of Walmart I believe they were like seven dollars and they are selling for $62.99 each um, they both talk, both uh, Buzz and Zerg talk, and you can switch them to Spanish too. So you can see there it says 12 phrases, and uh, I think it says French too. Whatever. <laughs> um, so these are doing super great. What else do we have? What is next? Oh, we have a Star Wars bathroom towel. Uh, this is a Darth Vader. I just bought these off of Kohl's. Uh, bought a bunch of these they were doing the the sale where um, they were already on sale and then they were taking an additional sale off so I believe these were like three or four dollars each and I'm getting twenty dollars and thirty nine cents each on them all right on to the plush first one squishmallow this is a Blake gray uh, white Easter Bunny plush uh, this is a large one I talked about these I picked these up at Walgreens just uh, I think about a month ago, if that, for 20 bucks. I mean, not great profit margin, but I knew they would sell fast, and they did. I'm already out of this brand, and they're selling for 56, uh, 69. Another plush. This is a piglet, uh, pink piglet plush. Hug and love. Hug and love is just the brand name. You can see it has like the little pattern on its feet people like that I forget what the patterns called but it's like a checkered pattern but people really like that in the little uh, baby toys you can see it has a pink bow and just generic uh, hug and love and it's sold for 1979 uh, Popeye the Sailor Man Brutus I had this in my store for a good six years <laughs> 
uh, nobody wanted it, so um, I actually pulled it out. I took a new picture with a black background, and you can see there it sold super fast as soon as I, well, it took like three months after I redid the pictures, but I raised the price up. I had them at 15 since it's been six years. I had them at 15. I raised it up to 19.99, and I took new pictures, and he sold. So super happy if your pictures aren't doing very well or your listings aren't doing well uh check your pictures if they're bad fix them <laughs> uh build a bear marvelous monkey gorilla just listed this one and it sold immediately I, like i say i list all my uh, build a bears at 20 bucks uh, i had the 10 percent off sale going on so it went a little bit lower than i wanted but was super happy that it just flew off the shelf i mean it after i think it was two days it was listed it was gone so i didn't even have to put it away i just picked it out of the bag and threw it in a poly bag and mailed it off so that was super great uh lego bat girl uh plush batman movie uh these that got out of the lego theme park they were selling off a whole bunch of things for super inexpensively and i bought a ton of them including joker and the batman and they are selling for $15.29. I still have 11 more of her. Uh, Joker and Batman sold fast, but she is a little bit slower. Uh, Zubies. This is another one I just listed, and it sold super fast. Uh, I listed it in $19.99, and it sold for $17.99. It's the little book inside of him. You see right there. And he's different colors, too. You can see the dark brown and the light brown. I've never seen a Zuby before, but yeah, they they see. I guess they sell super fast. Well, I know Eric Carl uh, sells super fast, but didn't know about Zubies. What's next? Uh, we have a Carter's just for one gray white koala. I am almost out of them. I have one left to sell. Uh, I always talk about these Carter baby toys. They sell super fast. I uh, had a bunch of loveys and a bunch of different animals, and they're almost all gone. I bought these off of, uh, it was Target. Target did a super sale, and I found a bunch of them and bought a ton of them. They are selling for $18.69. Uh, Spin Master Hatchimals. Just fixed a bunch of these. Um, did the fixing video, I think, a, about a month or two ago. And this was one of them that I had to fix. Well, didn't really have to fix. I threw some batteries in them and it worked. Uh, talked about Hatchimals that they sell very well for good money. There's a lot of people though selling it for nothing. But whatever. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> uh, this one sold for $22.99. And sold pretty fast. Uh, white blue striped puppy. Uh, this is a lovey. You can see it has like the sewn eyes and the sewn nose, so it's made for a baby. Um, nothing special about it. Had it for a little while. You can see it has the, the brown measuring tape there, or measuring stick, actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Lovey's always do well. Uh, this one took a little bit longer than normal, and it sold for $16.99. Last but not least, this is a princess unicorn ballerina. I got this off of a Holler website. It's a discount website. Um, I haven't even gone to Holler in a long time. I should probably go check it out. It's been a while. Um, they usually have a lot of good sales. It's kind of like a, not a Dollar Tree, but like a Five Below. Um, but you can get like a lot of stuff for super inexpensive. Anyways, um, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Take care, guys. See you next video. Bye.